Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm on a Southern Class 377 and I'm on my way to Eastbourne. We just left Hamden Park. Today's an episode of Miniature Railway Britain. We're going to the Eastbourne Miniature Steam Railway and we're going to get our first view of the railway in a minute from the train. The train we're on is going to go past part of the railway. So we're going to get a very brief view of it. And uh, every time I come along here, I always like to try and look out and see a train. I've never actually seen a miniature train from the big train. But when we go on the miniature train, we might see the big train. So let's look out for it. So there's this road bridge here. It's some point after this road bridge. I think physically it's actually nearer to Hampden Park Station than it is to Eastbourne Station. So the railway itself is going to be somewhere along here. I remember coming here as a child when they were still running the Mark 1 EMUs down here. So I remember watching them go past and travelling down to Eastbourne and one of them. Right, the railway, there's a bit of trees. It's it's coming up quite soon. There's a big, there it is, there. Just there. Um, yes, it was a very brief view and you didn't see much of it, but when we get to Eastbourne and we go to the railway, you'll see it all when we get there. So here we are. Arrived at Eastbourne on this class 377. Not a winning unit, I have travelled on this unit before. Last time I was at Eastbourne was on a steam charter with a Black 5. That was last um, November, December. If you want to see a steam train here at Eastbourne, have a look at link on screen now. I do really like this station, terminal station. We're going to go out. Conveniently, the ticket barriers are open, so it's safe you having to stop filming to get out the station. We're coming to here, and this is the really nice concourse of Eastbourne Station. I think architecturally it's one of the best stations there is in the South East. I'm going to find my way out of here. I'm going to go and find this miniature railway. There we are. I have just arrived at the railway. I got a lift here from a relative who lives in the area. Um, but if you're coming here by public transport, there are buses from Eastbourne up towards Hampton Park. In fact, Hampton Park Station might actually be slightly nearer to the railway than Eastbourne, even though it's called Eastbourne Miniature Steam Railway. This is the car park. So it's got quite a big car park if you were to come by car. That's the entrance just there. So I'm going to go in there, buy my ticket, and I've just noticed, look, some standard gauge vans over there. I'm going to go and buy my ticket. We're going to go and ride the Eastbourne Miniature Steam Railway. I'll just pay to go in. Here's my ticket so I can have a ride on the train. It's a pond there. So as well as there being the Miniature Railway, which is obviously what we've come for, it's quite a nice site. There's quite a few other things to do. They've given me this. There's a maze of a train and uh, inside is a map of the site. And if I get bored on the train on the way home, I can do a dot to dot. So I haven't done a dot to dot since I was about five. So the train is waiting. There's quite a few people on that next train. So maybe I won't get that one. I might get the next one. Let's have a look though at the loco that we've got today. Oh look, this little level crossing, oh, the train's going out, let's watch the train go. Oh, look, this little level crossing gates that have gone down. Sounds like the train's going. It's a little diesel high mech, a little seven and a quarter inch gauge railway diesel high mech. Let's watch the train go past. nice happy bunch of passengers waving at me as they go off on their trip which is what we're going to do quite soon so there's so we've got these level crossing gates we think are great they're going to go up now the train's got they should go up yeah Ooh, okay and this yeah look so it says nature walk platform two etc there's a maze here so we're going to go across we're going across the track now so here's the railway station there goes the train. Oh, this is the picnic area. So, perhaps on busy days, look, there's a platform too, so perhaps they run two trains. Today is a off-peak weekday, and it's, oh, go here. it's an off-peak weekday. So if, you, if I was to come on the weekend, they run steam trains, but I came here today because I knew they'd be running and just fancied the day out here. So that's why they're running diesel today. But if I was to come perhaps in the summer holidays or a uh, weekend day, they'd be running steam. So we'll perhaps come back here one day, or maybe if they have a gala. It's ducks here. If they have a gala, perhaps we could come and see the other trains they've got um, running the other locos. There's the engine shed. I think sometimes they have them out here. Um, so if it, they've even got a Flying Scotsman, it tells you all the locos have got. They've got Flying Scotsman, they've got a Royal Scott, Great Western Loco, uh, 3800 class, schools class, 
called Eastbourne, Black 5, Class 37 of Britannia, that's today's loco, that one there, they've got an 08 shunter, so they've got quite a nice lineup of locos, but they're all in the shed, so perhaps we'll come and have a ride with them one day. So this railway, what I've noticed, it's a bit like along the lines of, say, the Great Cockrell Railway, seven and a quarter inch, it's one gauge, everything is a replica of a standard gauge local, there's no narrow gauge, so it's all one scale. Oh, and then look, this must be the carriage sheds up here, and there's an 08 shunter. So there's an 08 shunter there. Um, let's have a look, see what we can see. Yeah, so look, there's some carriages inside the shed. So you sit on top of the carriages. So when there's no one on the carriages, it's like a slightly larger model train, which I think is quite nice. Let's go over this bridge. There's a couple of things. Well, obviously I want to go over here to get a ride on the train. When I've had a ride on the train, my plan is to come back to here and explore the rest of the site because it's the sort of place where there's more than just a train ride. So that's the station. It's called Windy Ridge Station and it is quite windy, so it's quite an appropriate name. There's a little gauge one model railway down there and then that way you get a view looking out across the railway. So the train should be back fairly soon. Let's go down here. There's some more model railways to see. So you've got that one there, gauge one. Um, then we'll go through here down to this shed, this is the sidings. There's some layouts in here. Oh yeah. Now I came here as a child. I think when I last came here, it must have been about 2004, they were still running the Mark 1 EMUs to Eastbourne. And this is exactly as I remember it. So what you do, you put 20p in and you can make these little layouts go around. So perhaps I'll do that in a minute. I'll put the, um, put, put 20p in, and the trains will go around. Let's do that now actually, because the train it's gonna be a while since the train comes back. We'll do that and then we'll go and have a ride on the miniature train. Mm.
I really enjoyed my trip around the railway line on the train, just as I remember it really. A few things have changed since I last came. The track layout I think is the same. The model railway in the sheds uh, as I remember them. The play area, that's expanded a lot since I last visited. That's not quite as I remember it. I mean, I wasn't really that interested in the play area. Anyway, I was more interested in watching the trains, but I think it really has expanded quite a lot. You can go fishing here. You can buy a day ticket and spend a day fishing, as you can see, some people are. I remember that being a thing, but I think you walked all around the lake in a loop. I don't know if you can actually go all the way around the lake anymore, because I'm sure I remember over there, there's a tunnel. I mean, tunnel's still there, that mound where my finger is. That's what the tunnel goes under. And I seem to remember standing on top of that. At least that's what I think I remember. I've got three sisters and I remember them really having a lot of fun playing in the Wendy houses, which are over there. I'm gonna give that a miss today, it's not really my thing, but I, I just remember it was nice because I came here when I was yeah, too young to kind of go out on my own. And I had three sisters and it was a place that entertained all of us because I was entertained by the trains. They were just entertained by the place itself. There's another the pond that the railway goes over, a nice bridge over, flows off the town, down a little waterfall, comes the path into the river. So you can have quite a pleasant walk here. There's a gazebo there. There's the lake, which, like I say, you can come and fish here, as we saw back there. The gentleman had all his fishing gear. We're going up to what's now called the Woodland Walk. Look at this. And I seem to remember there being another little playground at the other end, which was by the main line. So I remember seeing the Mark 1 units go past. So I want to go to there. So it says Woodland Walks, keeps the pathways, etc. We can do that. We get to here, there's a, a junction from the path. Also, what we'll do, we'll use this to do line sighting. We'll watch, see the trains for Nature Walk, Grandma's Garden and Maze. So I think this is new. I have a feeling this bridge may have been here when I last visited, um, but I'm not too sure. The maze, I think it said there would be a maze coming. They were planting the hedges, so that was going to come along soon. Oh, what's this? Look. So it still says Grandma's Garden and Maze. There's some, like a, they've created almost like a grotto here. I'm walking here. And as well, look at this. Oh, look at that. There's an actual grotto. Go into here. And if it was raining, you could just sit in this cave. Which is quite nice. This definitely wasn't here when I last visited. Let's get back out of here. And um, there's a portal. I think what it reminds me of, somewhere very different, but it reminds me of a bit of Grange up in Staffordshire National Trust Place, which had a, a grotto a bit like that. But yeah, very different. So there's some fountains, etc. Oh, look at this. This is quite cool. There's like a fairy tale sort of model village. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Um, that looks like Tom Kitten from the Beatrice Potter books, or is it Beatrice Potter, one or the other? Quite a... There's a that's Jeremy Fisher, I think, there, the toad from the Beatrice Potter books. Humpty Dumpty, who hasn't yet fallen off the wall. That bridge is really nice, look, that bridge that which we went over on the train. And you've got another waterfall, there's waterfalls everywhere. And I've, I've always liked water gardens, so I'm quite, I feel quite at home here. So what we'll perhaps do, we'll see a train cross this bridge. That's where we were a moment ago. Well, I said there's, you've got, you've got another pond here, look. Water flows off down there and into the lake. I just want to walk around, around the block, see what's over there, and then we'll do the maze, because it's always good fun doing the maze. Yeah, this is, I really like this. This was not like this at all. There's another stream coming all the way down there. I've just always really liked water gardens, so to find all this here since I last visited the railway for me is a nice surprise. And look, there's a, that's a nice view looking down towards that grotto again. There's a lighthouse. It's, it's cool, I like it here. What I'm going to do now, I might wait here, see a train cross the bridge, and then I'm going to try not to get lost in the maze, which is over there.
was nice to see the train cross the bridge. Now let's go in the maze. On the last episode of Miniature Railway Britain, went to the Bridgeview Light Railway in Coventry. That one also had a maze, and that was a bit of a strange maze because it got a bit dark and scary. I and mean, if you want to see that, have a look at Link on screen now. But let's have a look at this one. So it says maze. It's unsuitable for pushchairs and wheelchairs. There was a little part there for pushchairs. Railway signal, you must find. So we've got to find a railway signal. So follow the paths that twist and wind and don't get lost, my dear friend. The winner makes it to the end. Nice little poem. Let's go and find this signal in a maze, which is going to be quite fun. So we're going to... Um, now, I've got two ways of doing a maze. What I'm going to do... I don't know how obvious it's going to be on camera. But I'm going to do my first policy, which I actually... That's a dead end. I revealed in my last Miniature Railway Britain video. So if you want to see... Um, well, I'll tell you what my policy is in a minute, but let's just put it to the test, because it does two things around here. You might actually be able to work out what I'm doing. That's a dead end as well. This either works, that's a dead end, or it doesn't. It, it will tell me two things. It's a bit of an odd shape maze. I mean, it's obviously a lot easier when you do a maze from above. If you look at a maze, another dead end. If you look at a maze from above, it can look a lot easier than when you're doing it. But from the site plan, you see there's the player. There. Look, there's those Wendy houses. It seems to me it's quite a long, linear Fin maze. Now, so far, okay, we'll go down here. I've only to about there. There was only about one way we could have got there. Is that a bit in? I think this will be. Yeah. I I find it quite fascinating the planning out of a maze. So now we got to here. There was about three different paths. You may have worked out what I'm doing. Yet every time I get to a corner, you may have seen how, which way I choose to go. We get to a junction. See what I'm doing? I'm always going. I'm always going left. That's how I like to do a maze. Because if you always keep to the left, I mean, you could do it always keep to the right. Because I'm left-handed, I tend to keep to the left. If I always keep to the left, I either come back to where I started, or I come to the middle. So if I come back to where I started, it means there's more than one route around the maze. But if I come to the middle, it means there's only one way. That's a, a definite dead end. I'm not going to quite go to, if, if it's an obvious dead end, I'm not going to quite go to the end. So I'd say this one's a bit easier to do than the last one, because the last one I went to was genuinely quite scary, because it was so dark, because it had big coniferous hedges. Ooh, it's a bit awkward for me to put the camera ahead. Um, there goes a train. There's a bit of a mixture of different plants. The other one was layered, it was a square maze. So, so far I've been keeping to the left, but I haven't been down every path. We get to here. And it's round another corner. I think I can gather yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. I think we might be nearly at the end. Look, there's a signal. Let's go down here and have a look. And uh, yeah, there's clearly not enough room for me to hold the camera forward, so apologies for that. But I think we might have found, I haven't quite called this the middle, but the end. There's railway signal and upper quadrant signal. So that's in the stop position. If it was to go, it go like that. That would make it go. I did a video about semaphores, not so much semaphore signals, but semaphore towers recently at, in Surrey. I went to the um, Chantley Heath semaphore tower and we, I did put a few semaphore signals. So I explained on that what an upper and lower quadrant is. So I think that is the end. So it's not a middle as such, but an end. Actually, yeah, there was a sign saying maze, maze, exit. So we're gonna leave the signal behind us. There it is. So I feel like I've achieved what I set out to do by going through the maze. I did it by keeping left. I didn't come back to where I started. So I think if I, if I was to, I'm not going to, but if I was to do it again and keep right, I would see slightly different paths. I wonder which one's quicker. If, um, if you ever have, if, there's a, if you ever come here and two of you, if, you've, if you do come here and you've done, and done this, please leave a comment. You need two of you, one to keep left, one to keep right. Who gets to the end first? Which way's quicker, keeping left or keeping right? If, you've, if you're someone who's done that, you might be watching this video in 10 years after I filmed it. You could be watching this anytime in the future. If you do this, two of you, one keep left, one keep right, please comment and tell me which one's quicker. I'm back to here now, look, that suspension bridge. I'm gonna do the rest of the walk now. I'm gonna go down and maybe see some trains on the main line. So I've now made my way, after doing the maze, come back over the railway line, that bridge we came to, 
did a little walk through the woods and we're now running beside the railway. Very nice and neat. Some railways, you know, aren't as well kept as others, but this is really nice and neat. And you could just line side here. It'd be great if they had a gala and they were just running all the steam locos. Just watching them all come past one by one. We'll definitely wait and see, you know, the high make that's out today go past somewhere along here. And also, just there, look, see that? That is a colour light signal, not for this, for the main line, where we got a brief view of the train, of this railway from the train we are on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to hang around here. I want to see a train go past, big or small, preferably big, because then the small train wings anywhere. And then I'm going to continue walking up there. If you look up there, there's a, another foot crossing, and that'll take us to the end of where this walk goes, I think. I just saw a Gatwick Express go past. That was unusual. It must be being used on a normal service. Another junction. We could go over there and follow the nature walk. But we could also go to a bird hide. So this place is good if you like animals as well. Quite a lot of railway enthusiasts I know like birds. I'm, I mean, I, I appreciate the interest, but I wouldn't call myself a, a bird spotter. Um, you know, look, it says bird hide. It says shh, shh something. If there's anyone in there, I won't, we won't have a look, but let's just see. Okay, it's nice then, it's just us. And, um, get a few out over the lake. Good, birds aren't active today. But you could sit here, watch birds. Birds are your feet. And if you like birds and railways, go and watch trains as well. So from the bird hide, you're proving where on earth am I now? I'm, as I was on around, I just couldn't resist having a look in this little cool windy house. Look, it's actually got stairs and upstairs. So if you're a child, it's basically like a full upstairs, but at me at my height, it's like half the size. Right, yeah. So you could play here. Like, that's what I remember when I was little and I came here, I've got three sisters. I remember them playing in some of these Wendy houses. And as I said, it worked well as a family day out because they could play in there all afternoon. And I just stood by the fence watching the trains go past, both big and small. The main line, as we know, is only over there. And in those days, it was when they still ran the southern um, EMUs, the Mark 1 EMU set. So I'm really pleased that we did that trip when we did it, because we came all the way down to London on a southern you know, Mark 1 set. I remember seeing Class 73s on the Gatwick Expresses, and I remember the Thumper. So if I hadn't have made that trip to Eastbourne back in what I think must have been 2004, I wouldn't probably have that memory of Southern Region stock at all. Now, I've noticed something. We have come from over there. That's that foot crossing up there. There was the bird hide. It says no entry. So I don't think it means that we're condemned to having to stay down here forever. What I think it means is, you know, I said how, I can hear that train again. Um, you know, I said how you used to go around the lake. You still do. It's just that it's a one-way system. So I've got to follow the path that way. And then we'd have circumnavigated the lake. So the miniature railway goes around the lake clockwise. We're going around the lake anti-clockwise. I think there might be a train coming, so let's watch the train get past. I'm just slightly further along the track from where we saw the high neck a moment ago. So that way looks across towards Eastbourne over there. You may just be able to see there, there's a residential tower block. I understand when they built that, the plan was to build seven of them to be like the Seven Sisters. You've got the Seven Sisters cliffs. They wanted to have Seven Sisters tower blocks, but they never built one of them. And that's all sort of marshland across there, and then, say, you've got houses. If a train was to run along there now, we would see it. I can just see a 
colour light signal on the main line out of Eastbourne. There's that tunnel which we went through when we were on the train. So as I said, the train, we can actually see the station just there on the other side of the lake. So it's quite, it's an exciting journey because as soon as you get going, you leave the station, you're on the side of the lake, you come to a tunnel, and you've got these nice long straight sections of track, you might glimpse a passing train on the main line, and then you go around over the bridges and back to where you start. It's a nice little trip. Look at this, what's here? Maybe, again, we've got a choice of two ways to go. We could go that way, go up here. Of course, going up here, you know where we are? We're on top of the tunnel. And uh, looking at the, the ground, the topography, you can quite clearly see where the tunnel is, where it's got a little bit warm, where people have walked over it. So yeah, that's the railway tunnel down there. There's the lake, Canada geese waiting on the lake. And if we go down here, we're coming to the other side of the tunnel. I think this is where, is that a train? I feel I'm here mainline train. Let's just run over there. Is it yellow? Pink. There we go. Yes, that's a class 377. Anyway, uh, whatever. The tunnel, yeah. Look, we're, we're on top of it now. So I'm going to follow the path now back to where we started and uh, hopefully get a cup of tea. got a coffee. Now, while I was out, um, something has happened. Look, the shed suddenly has some steam locos. Some steam locos have come out, which is really nice. We've got a great west. Oh, look, and you can just see a Gatwick Express over there on the main line. I hadn't realised you could see the main line from here. So we've got a great western heavy freight steam loco. We've got Flying Scotsman and we've got a 4F. So that's really quite a nice surprise to see those. Um, what I'll do, we'll, I'm going to run over the other side and we'll have a closer look. Well, here we are, back over the other side, so we can have a better look. So we've got a 4F locomotive, she's called Rachel. I might be wrong, but I have a feeling someone in the family is of the people who run the railway are called, it's called Rachel, one of the daughters maybe. Flying Scotsman, no mistake in Flying Scotsman. Quite nice actually seeing her in any of the Isle Greens. We got so used to seeing her the full size one in um, a 6103. That Hymex coming on, let's just watch the Hymex go past and we'll continue with the steam locos. So there goes the train, bringing some more happy passengers back to the station. So yeah, Flying Scotsman. It's, it's nice to see Flying Scotsman. I wonder if they ever bring the full size Flying Scotsman 3 spawn. If they do, make a great video flying Scotsman steaming past on the main line this one could steam past maybe if that ever happens they'll do that and then we've got a great western heavy freight locomotive so we've got a really nice line up here of um we've kind of got one from each region although we haven't got a southern one out but we've seen southern trains so we've got like southern in modern day and then we've got great western lmr and lms so i hope you've enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please do feel free to like subscribe and comment if you're out this way, do come and visit this miniature railway. It's easy to get to. You can get here by bus. It's got a big car park if you want to drive. So you can come by public transport or drive. Very nice area, Eastbourne. I don't think I'm going to get down to the sea today because I'll probably catch the train back. But I've had a great time here. So from the Eastbourne Miniature Steam Railway, stood next to Flying Scotsman and a few other steam locos. I think they're going to bed now. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.